hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our laravel 8 blog series so guys now in this video we are going to integrate owl carousel and show all the categories with the image okay so whatever we have included right added all the categories over here this image and this category name we are going to show in a owl carousel so let me just show you one demo so over here as you can see guys over here as it is shown right so we will be just integrating the same owl carousel in our laravel 8 block series so yep guys let's get started so first let's go to our owl carousel domain and then let's go on the docs so on this docs you can find the process of getting started and here is your installation part so at this installation include the css and include the js guys so they have not given a cdn link directly but we can download that so now guys let's open show in folder so here guys i have just extracted the all carousel folder and now let's get the file so guys now let's go to this docs and here you find assets so let's go inside asset and here is our our carousel so let's move inside this and here you see that owl carousel min.js so which requires the js file over here okay and then css you can find in a the same folder okay the assets so first let us copy this min.js file and let's paste in our application so our laravel blog public assets js and let's paste here so paste all set guys so here is our owl carousel js file and let's go and copy our owl carousel min css and default min css okay we require these two files let's copy that and paste inside the asset css and here we paste okay so now guys let's get back to our editor and let me close all the files so first let's go to our resource views and layouts and inside this layout we have app blade.php file so at this css let's let's include the owl carousel css okay first so you can just copy and paste that and then the de theme default css paste here all set so now guys coming back to our js file here we go js and here you find our carousel right let's copy and paste that all done and we have already the jquery cdn link yep as you can see over here done guys now let's begin with integrating the owl carousel in our application so let's close this app file and go to the home page resource views and here is our front end index blade.php so this is our home page let me just show you a demo home page okay so hello home page now guys let us bg i'm going to add a red colored bg danger and then create a container row column md12 and begin with your owl carousel so for that guys let's see the code over here so now guys let's go back to the demo and see a basic over here and here is a carousel let's see the theme over here okay let's copy and paste and the div all done and here is our item and inside this item we are going to call the card then card body before that let's call the image tag to show all our category images and inside this card body let's show our all the category names okay so let me just 
add that category name and here image okay yep and now guys coming to the main part that is the code setup of the old carousel let's copy this setup code and we have included that links right so let's go to that app.php file okay app blade.php so inside this we have linked okay let's call the script tag and paste here all set and instead of all carousel let's send like a category carousel so let's copy this and you can just go back here and paste that here is our category carousel and how much you want to show like on the desktop view i want to show four four wise and mobile it's one enough and this is your tablet mode so yep guys now let's select with the dots and let's keep it false now you can just check the output refresh okay so we are not getting the output let's check why let's go to the console log here it's telling dollar not defined why we have imported the jquery link okay so okay let's remove this differ guys and now let's refresh here you see the output perfect so guys now let's go and let's cover up the spaces and create correctly okay so our carousel is perfectly integrated okay so now guys let's go to our this app blade and here you see that we have included that padding top and bottom let's remove that all set so yep and at this danger let's include py4 or make it to 5 not an issue let's refresh and here you see some gaps perfect so now guys let's write the code to get all the categories so what categories all the inserted categories so yep let's get back and let's begin so we are on the home page let's go to that web route first routes web.php all set so on this route here you see it's going to front end controller at index function let's go to the front end controller at index function at here you are going to get all the categories all categories is equal to your category model colon colon where you are going to check the status first status if it is zero then only you have to get else use get function to get the data and this category make sure you are importing it done and now let's pass this variable in a compact function so compact function and pass that all category set guys now let's go to the index page and here you are going to loop it using for each loop all categories of cat items okay let's tell all cat items okay so try to keep unique variables because we have already used in the front end navbar side so yep let's copy and here you are going to call your image path let's call that image called asset function and go to uploads here your path comes and at this place let's concatenate the image and then your category name dollar all category item of name and now let's control x for each here you set so now guys let's see the output first refresh okay here call to undefined function asset oops it's asset not assets refresh perfect guys so we have got the output correctly and we will make this in a center and let's reduce that font from h4 to h5 and let's keep this all the text in center so and after the 
on this heading only or let's make this full card a clickable a tag okay all done here you can begin with the copy that variable and create a url so url forward slash where you are going to tell tutorial right so we had some slug right when we click on this php you find that tutorial then category let's copy this tutorial then your category let's concatenate the category slug so copy this and paste here we concatenate it slug so let's save and yep guys now let's see go to home page and here you see let's click on laravel 8 we go to laravel now let's click on php we should move to php tutorials perfect so if i move with code igniter cool no post found so guys now if you want to remove this underline you can just add one class let me zoom it just add a class called text decoration none text dark text dark and here you get the output perfect so guys now you can see one nav over here right so it's not visible but then too let's design this nav something like this okay so not something let's design it same so yep let's get back and go back to your editor so guys let's include that in our head tag so here i have created one custom.css file and linked it so let me just go there and paste the css so you can just copy down this css code it's very simple so this is the css guys now you can get back here you refresh and get the output perfect so we have successfully integrated our our carousel with the for viewing our categories data so guys in this video that's it and let's continue next video about designing the home page of this blogging website so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share